Hey, we're Jetlag Gemini, and you're watching Breaking the Mold on TVM. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Christian here in Asbury Park, New Jersey, at the Paramount Theater. I'm standing in the dressing room of Jetlag Gemini. They are on the Gives You Hell tour, supporting the All American Rejects. So, guys, how's everything going so far? Great, great, it's awesome. awesome. This tour is awesome. So, so yeah, you guys are uh, in your home state of New Jersey. That's right, represent. That's right, and ironically, we have guest spots open still in the home <laughs> state of New Jersey. Yeah. Every show so far, it's been a, a struggle to get everybody we need to get in, and somehow none of our friends are coming today. I don't know why. <laughs> it just worked out. Yeah. And even though even though our college is based in Scranton, PA, I am from Jersey. I have love for Jersey. Where are you? Exactly. We guys from Bergen County, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's about two hours up north from here. So this isn't. I mean, we we rarely play Asbury Park. It's it's we 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 do better in California than we do here, probably <laughs> realistically. But yeah. we just never come down here. But I mean, the rejects still right everywhere. So it's fine. <laughs> so how are the rejects, guys? Like outside of the awesome. very nice, awesome, very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, we we you know we were we didn't want to be too pushy when we met them, like oh you know over introduce ourselves or whatever. But they just came up to us and were like, hey guys, we're I'm Chris, whatever. The drum was super. Everybody was just really cool and really outgoing. So that was really cool for them. Well, um, obviously the rejects were on Doghouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's that's time. how we ended up on this tour. Actually, we were just that we were label mates at a certain time in history. So. So yeah, that's kind of the, now. Do your friends back home? Do they ever be like, "Oh my God, the All American Rejects"? Like, are they like kind of jealous that you guys are so, like playing with them and stuff? And mixed feelings from everybody. Yeah. yeah, there's there's friends that we have in bands that we were on the same level with before this tour that instead of being happy for us, they're jealous and vindictive. But whatever. <laughs> it's 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 that's about, not better at all, man. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but I mean, it's everybody reacting to it differently. We're just here acting like this is a normal tour for us and it is it's just it's been great having so many people to play it to every night and just being on tour with like really cool bands you know mm -hmm. so yeah playing in front of big crowds is really good then right yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, money that's, is good that's it's you know it's not even money because we're doing this tour so we can pay back all the money we owe from not playing in front of big crowds the last two years i mean we've paid our dues over and over so yeah this is kind of this is definitely helping us get out of some debt that we have that every yeah. band is in it's, it's normal it's every every startup business has debt obviously you know so but no it, it's been really great so far everybody's been really supportive and we've got more people on board that are working with our band now for, for the future so everything's been going extremely positive all right great now i heard you guys had an unfortunate happening a couple months ago somebody actually stole your stuff yeah but you recovered it but do you mind telling the story it's the yeah we, sure. we actually um we're going out on tour with a band called zebrahead and uh, that ended up getting canceled the day we left for the tour. And we had to basically turn around and go home. And we ended up parking our van where we usually park it, except the next morning when we woke up, we got a call from the cops saying that our stuff was stolen. Yeah. So. <laughs> Literally, we had a tour canceled on us, so we were really bummed out. And then we park our trailer and it gets broken into. We're like, yeah. man, this is awful. It was the worst luck ever. But everything turned out for the best. We actually got all our stuff back a few months later. And our sponsors helped us replace some of it, so it was really cool of them, you know. And then, um, and then we got this tour because we we ended up staying home and uh, you know working on oh, it. Right. Yeah, it's it's hectic. Every one of these shows has been hectic, as you've seen. Just press everywhere. The rejects do they have a new album coming out? So they just you know every camera is in every corner of every venue. So, all right. So um, speaking of new albums, I know that you guys put out Fire the Cannons like late. Winter, early spring, kind of. It, time? Was, it was late January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. January. Okay, yeah. It was a weird record cycle. I mean, it did pretty well at the beginning, but then it, it we kind of we, we did a whole block a chunk of touring, but like I said, it was in front of, it was in front of big crowds, so the album didn't take off as much as we wanted to. But then later on, it picked up, and now it's doing fantastic. So I mean, every album has a weird cycle. It's never. I mean, obviously, everybody wants to put out an album, sell a million copies the first week, but. It's, Realistically, that doesn't happen. So right now, are you guys writing anything new for the next album? Yeah, we actually yeah. been working on songs together um, for for the new record. And we're playing a few of them on this tour, but we're mostly promoting the record we have now. You know, yeah, just just a feel about it, see what people think about it and stuff like that, and see the direction that we're gonna go in. So yeah, and uh, we actually shot a new music video for the record we have now. So. We're stoked about that. Yeah. That's for uh, Fit to Be Tied. So, oh, yeah. all right, very interesting there. Actually, we played uh, Run the City on the first episode of our show. Cool. At the uh, for Breaking the Mold, so that's really cool. So now we're gonna kind of divert away from talking about your music as more to just general stuff. Sure. First off, being that you guys are from Jersey, the scene is just so I don't know what you call it, strong and diverse. I mean, being from Jersey, how has that really helped you guys like grow as a as a band? When we started out, there was a lot of bands that we could 
um, see and try to like work ourselves around. Uh, like the whole emo and screamo thing was really huge when we were starting out. We didn't really want to be a part of those bands, but we learned a lot from them, even though we didn't want to be like them. So, I mean, uh, just playing with like so many bands and as you know, we were an early band, like uh, just starting out, that definitely helped us uh, As As we grow. progressed, uh, I think the scene kind of died yeah. down slowly. Hopefully it had nothing to do with us. But, <laughs> but no, I mean, it's kids started being disrespectful to the places that the shows were happening in and, you know, people were yeah. left without any choice to just to Like, Jersey up. is known for the hall shows, you know, like like all the VFW shows and stuff like that, but unfortunately not not a lot of that's happening anymore because yeah. kids were disrespectful and like a lot of those places don't have shows anymore. But Yeah, and then so, the same kids that were throwing like, you know, empty beer bottles on the street outside of the show were like, why is this getting shut down? It's so lame. And it's like, you know, you're, you're 15, you don't know any better. But <laughs> it is what it is, I guess, you know. All right, well, just a few more questions. First off, being that you guys are still kind of, like you said, paying off your debts, what can fans bring you guys to keep you healthy and nourished on tour? Just get a good night's sleep before the show and flip out. That's all we need. Yeah. No food, no nothing? Veggie platter with ranch. <laughs> 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 if we're going to have to name some sort of food. I yeah. like vitamin water. Vitamin water. Caesar, Caesar salad. Caesar salad. Dan's on the new health ad. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, the, all, all, since the because of the way the tour is going and, and the the size of the shows, the, the venues are taking really good care of us. You know, they're getting us our riders, our our <laughs> our per diem stuff. You're, you're in the background, by the way. You guys are hearing people warm up for the show. The <laughs> city lives about to go on, so. Um, but yeah, so the venue's been really cool, uh, giving us our rider, giving us food, giving us money for food. So, uh, honestly, if the if if the shows are fun, that's 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 all we really need. These shows. Yeah, as long as you guys come. And flip out and get sweaty and even crowd surf. That's that's, right. that's, that's the most we could ask. And, and people yeah. have been, which is really cool. We yeah. didn't expect. I mean, places we never played, people have been going insane. Oh, <coughs> my t-shirts. <laughs> my t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean we did. We did two dates in Canada. We've never been to Canada, and both those shows were sold out. Probably the two best shows on the tour at that point so far. I, literally every show has been getting better and better. It's awesome. Man. Yeah. It's like, we've never been on a tour like this where. The closer we get the release date of their new album, because they're doing more and more press, more and more people come to these shows, just more excited to see everybody play. So it's really cool. All right. Well, one final question. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys probably do. So, what video game consoles do you rock on tour? Game Boy Advance. Talk about GameCast. Yeah. All right. We Game used Cast. to rock this thing called GameCast, which we got this spot after next. Or yeah. Like no, yeah. It's basically a Dreamcast I had with a bunch of like bootleg games on it that. We got off the internet, and then I got in trouble for downloading. But that's a different <laughs> story. <laughs> you got a letter. He actually got, got a letter. A letter from if, the if you guys think you're safe, he got a letter from the I'm government safe. saying, yeah, the camera, yeah, the camera yeah. guy's going, yeah. yeah. We, if, if we do have time on tour. So you guys are eating our beef jerky, huh? <laughs> oh, Alright, can we get this on camera? <laughs> this you this out. is very exclusive. Oh, you guys like doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it, bring it. This, is, this, is, so this girl, never girl happens still during beans. interviews. Alright. Oh, good. Every, yeah. every day we have a rider and we get deli needs, but and they get beef jerky. And today, in our dressing room, ends up this pack of beef jerky. We didn't, honestly, we didn't know it was We, we didn't know. We, oh, we, yeah. we had no <laughs> idea. We <laughs> see our rider. Yeah. To be fair, we give you guys all our beer every show. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. That's true. That's right. And we have these cherry cookies that somebody made for us. Cherry cookies? Oh, Would I you think. like some of our beef jerky? <laughs> <laughs> you can have some beer. Yeah, yeah, you can, can have, have it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm no. sorry, guys. You want some whole wheat bread, too? Whole wheat bread? Yeah. No. Sure. Take it, white bread. No, no, take it. Is your rider really nachos? There you go. What a smart move on your part. Okay, I'm just kidding. Give me that bread back. Yeah, you can have the bed. We just thought it was funny that we put veggie tray on there and they really gave it to us. We don't even need veggies. Yeah. We're, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're just talking about, about this how we want These are the guys from City Lives right here. They're opening the tour, so hey, they're yes. going on next. And we drink all their beer. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> all their beer. Peace, guys. All right, sorry about the interruption. No, no, it's good. <laughs> and on that note, we are going to conclude the interview. Thank you so much to Jet Like Gemini. We're going to send it. Back to the studio. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.